As we mentioned a few moments ago, Mecklenburg County is reporting three new cases, the total now seven. This is such a concern, rather, that the health director signed an order in Mecklenburg County reducing gatherings in the county to a maximum of 50 people. But of course, that was announced before. We just heard from President Trump in a news conference that his team is advising no more than 10 people in a gathering. Now, Channel 9's Tina Terry is live for us tonight at the Government Center uh, to explain why these numbers are so, so very important. Tina? Well, yeah, the health director, of course, is concerned about the number of cases here in Mecklenburg County. Erica, when I covered this story just a week ago today, there were zero cases in the county. Today, there are seven. That's about one case per day. Uh, Gibby Harris, Mecklenburg County's health director, is telling us that the state informed her about the newest three cases this morning and her office is still working to investigate how the new victims were exposed to COVID-19. But Harris says the sheer fact that we now have seven cases makes her concerned that there could be community spread here in Charlotte. Now that is when the illness spreads and the source is unknown. That is why Harris signed an order today reducing the number of people who can gather together to just 50 in one place. Again, we checked with her. She said that is an order, not a recommendation. Now she says if COVID-19 cases continue to increase here, leaders could discuss doing even more restrictions. It could be we could reduce it to smaller numbers of gatherings or I, I'm just not sure where this will go. Um, it's changing every day. We're getting to the point where we need to think about social distancing in a much more um, restrictive uh, situation than we have right now. And Harris was very clear these restrictions do not apply to restaurants. One reason, she says, she's also concerned about the amount of food that is available to people in our community. Back to you at the desk, Scott.